Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CVPNet's video series on C++ and this topic is Unordered Multimap in C++ STL series. So, this is probably the last video on this STL series. I don't know, maybe I'll create some discussion video maybe. But topic wise, maybe this is the last one. So go ahead and watch the full series of this STL series and the link is given in the description field. Because I have given each and every container's detailed video. So let's start this one. Unordered multimap is an unordered associative container that supports equivalent key. Meaning, actually, in order to understand this unordered multimap, first you should be knowing what is the meaning of map. So map is nothing but a key value pair. You know that, right? Now the point in map was, map key was unique. So key was always unique and you can assign different values to that. Now the point is, in unordered multi-map, you can have duplicate key value pair, meaning you can have duplicate keys. So that's the whole point here. And the searching, insertion, removal have average constant time complexity because it internally uses buckets and hashing to actually arrange the data. So if you have created a hash one time and place your data into some place, I mean in some bucket, then it is just that retrieving from that bucket itself. So it's a constant time complexity algorithm. So let's read out everything. Internally, the elements are organized into buckets and it uses hashing to insert element into bucket, correct? So I have explained how this bucket thing works in my previous videos. So if you are following them, then you don't have to actually worry about all these things. So I encourage you to please go ahead and watch my full series so that you will have a link how these things actually work because I'm not going to explain these things again and again because these things are common in between so many containers. And why we will use unordered multimap? The reason is it maintains collection of duplicates key value pair. So if you are interested in some kind of a data structure where you will need a key value duplications, then you will go for this unordered multi-map and why unordered means obviously if you are again following my previous videos then unordered means it is not going to be a sorted way it is unsorted way so if you will iterate over this unordered multi-map then key value pair will not be in any order it can come in any order so that's the whole point here now let's look at this program so the program says that we have this unordered multi-map and as it is map, we will have two data types. This is a key data type and this is value data type. So I have this key as five and the value is D here. So this is a initialization part. Now you can insert in these many different ways. So it's like it will convert that into a pair and you are explicitly telling that convert this into pair and you're using this function make pair to actually make a pair. So if you notice here, we have these two data duplicate, correct? So if it was map, then it will still be one, but as it is not a map, it is multi-map, it is going to store 3C, 3C two times. So let's compile this and verify it. So compiled it and let's execute this. See, we have 3C and 3C two time. Don't tell me that I cannot modify this so I can make actually this a C and D. So let's compile and execute this. See, now it is D and C. But the point is key is duplicate here. So if you need something like this, go for it. It is literally faster because it uses hashing and bucket. And if you're not sure what is hashing and bucket, go ahead and watch my previous videos. So it's time to sum this video. Thanks for watching guys and like and subscribe if you're new to this channel so that you can get the notification for upcoming videos like this. Bye-bye, I'll see you in the next videos.